Welcome to the VMED Technology Bluetooth Installation and Wireless Monitor Setup Tutorial with Windows 10. The first step is to install the PC Display software. You can either install that from the CD that came with your computer or from the VMED website. We'll start by first installing from the CD. Once the installer window comes up, click Install PC Display. On the initial screen, click Next. Then on the license agreement screen, choose I agree, followed by next. This next screen allows you to choose which desktop icon you prefer to have on your desktop. You can choose one or both. We'll just keep PC Display Application selected and then choose next. For the installation folder screen, keep the default folder as listed. Choose everyone and then click next. Finally, click next to allow this to progress through the installation. At the last screen, click Close. If you choose to install PC Display from the VMED website, then open a web browser and go to the VMED Technology website. Click on the Download Support tab and scroll down until you find the PC Display Application and Demo Installation icon. Go ahead and click this and allow it to download. Once the download has completed, then double click this and proceed as in the previous example. The next step is to establish or confirm the presence of Bluetooth in this computer. Now you might already have internal Bluetooth in this computer and the way to confirm this is to first go to the Windows button or the Start button and right click, make sure you right click instead of left click, and this will open a menu of options. Select the option named Device Manager. In the Device Manager window, if you have an item near the top named Bluetooth, then you most likely have an internal Bluetooth if you've not already installed a USB Bluetooth adapter. If this is the case, then go ahead and proceed to step three. However, if you did not see the Bluetooth item appear in the Device Manager window, then in this case, you should go ahead and insert one at this time into an available USB port. Windows should automatically recognize it and install any necessary drivers to support it. The next step is Bluetooth pairing. What you will need to do is move your mouse down to the system tray icons, which might involve clicking this up arrow and find the Bluetooth icon. Double click this icon. This should bring up the Manage Bluetooth Devices section of the Settings window. At this time, you should press and release the power button on your VMED wireless remote to turn it on. The Manage Bluetooth Devices window should show that it is already searching for available Bluetooth devices. Once it finds your VMED remote, you will select it here. In this case, I'm connecting to a VetGuard Plus. Once you select it, choose Pair, and here it will ask you for a passcode. Use the word default in all lowercase, and then choose next and allow it to complete its pairing. And once it's done so, you can close this window. The following step, configuring PC display, is required only if you have internal Bluetooth or, in some cases, a non VMED Bluetooth USB adapter. The first thing that you will need to do is go to the system tray icons once again and find the Bluetooth icon. This time you will right click on this icon and choose Open Settings. In the Bluetooth Settings window, click on the COM Ports tab and then locate the line with Outgoing in the Direction column. It should show your remote's ID to the right in the Name column. Note the number on this line under the Port column. In this case, it's COM7. Once you've determined the number there, then you can just choose OK to close the window. Then open PC Display. You will probably see an error message. Just click Cancel. And then go to the Tools menu, where you should choose Edit Default Configuration. Here you will click the box next to Specify COM port number. And make sure that there is a positive non-zero number in the box next to Wireless Remote COM. Finally, choose OK, and then close PC Display. 
Now, once more, open PC Display. This time you'll see a smaller window titled VMED Remote Switcher. Click the Configure button. At the top left, under Remote Type, you will choose the type of VMED wireless remote that you have connected to. In this case, it's a VetGuard Plus. To the right of this, enter a name that will be easy for you to remember to identify this wireless remote. In this case, I'll choose the remote's ID number. And then in the box to the right of this, enter the number that we noted earlier from the Bluetooth settings window. Finally, choose OK, and then Yes to save these values. The final step is to connect your VMED wireless remote. First, you will make sure that your VMED remote is turned on and its connection light is amber or yellow. Then, open PC Display. If you had to previously configure PC Display for internal Bluetooth, then you will see the smaller VMED Remote Switcher window here. Otherwise, you'll see PC Display open in full screen with a Select Wireless Remote Connection window in front. In either case, make sure that your VMED Remote that you wish to connect to is selected in the drop-down box, and then choose Connect. In the following screen, you'll see the patient information window, and I would advise you to go ahead and enter a patient name in the patient name ID field so that you can find this episode later on. I'll just enter test, click OK. This will begin the connection process. Once it is connected, you should see wireless remote connected and the green down at the bottom right to let you know that you are now wirelessly connected.